Hey, what's up, you guys? Wellington here. So you guys are forcing me to make this video because you requested this speaker so much that I was like, I guess I'll take a look at it. I guess I will check it out. And this is following my best speaker under 100 video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. But people were saying that I cannot make that list and not have the speaker involved in that battle because apparently it is going to win if it's involved. So a lot of you commented on that video and a lot of you were talking about this speaker to the point that I usually will not just give in and get whatever speaker people are talking about in the comment section, but I guess this is a special case and do not think that I'm gonna be doing it every single time that you guys just bombard me with whatever speaker. Mm -mm. This is just a special case. So, and this is because I was kind of interested in this speaker when it first came out in 2019. You guys, this coming in, came out in 2019. Why are you forcing me to look at it right now? I'll do it for you because I love you guys. But what speaker am I talking about anyway? Yes, there it is. This is the speaker that a lot of you were talking about in the comment section uh, when I was uh, doing that video of the best speaker under 100. But I didn't have the speaker. I only talk about speakers that I have listened to and speakers that I own that I can listen to and tell you what I think. 30 watts, cool. 12 hours of play time, IPX7, awesome. Qualcomm APTX, awesome. Bluetooth, I'm pretty sure it has Bluetooth 5.0. Best app, uh, custom EQ. Too much plastic sound core, you need to start reducing this. You got an aux cord right here, which is awesome. Not many companies are putting even aux holes on speakers, so there you go. And then you also get a USB-C cable. This is the speaker. There you go. This is the thing. I wonder if they have any sort of a firmware update, because like I said, this is from 2019, January. So I don't know if it, if it, it needs some sort of firmware update, but I like um, the way they have these tweeters at the very age of the speaker. I feel like it might, uh, it probably gets a wider output as far as sound stage, if that makes any sense, because these are like at the very age and I feel like they're angled a little bit. Uh, Maybe not, but I feel like it's bound to get a wider sound stage in comparison to a speaker that has uh, speakers, all of them just directly facing forward, but we'll see how it sounds like. So yeah, you have your USB-C port in here and the aux input right in there. Auxiliary input, pretty sweet. Then your power on button. On top you have your bass up, so to switch between, I guess, bass mode and off, whatever. Then you have your control buttons and the Bluetooth button right there. Let's turn it on. We are paired up. Party series, motion plus series. Then this is the motion plus searching. Let's try to see if there's a new firmware update or whatever. So this one says we have firmware version 37.38 and it says you are up to date. So let's start to listen to some music. Before we do any of that, I want to listen to it before I record. So I'm gonna play some songs here for myself. <laughs> Try to run away It's been so long 
Okay, so I've just been listening to the speaker and comparing it to the PL7 right here and I also compared it to the Charge 5 which I have right here and I'm sorry I couldn't play the songs that I have personally listened to this during this session but I played some songs for you guys that I'm able to play on the channel uh, but just from my initial listening to this speaker I can see why people love it and why I guess people think I should have included it in the under 100 speaker video yes it does sound good and I can see Compared to the PL7, that one in that video, or which was my favorite under 100, I can see how these two are comparable. Uh, this guy is louder than the PL7. Best performance is actually about the same, which is kind of surprising. I thought the PL7 would do better, but not really. Um, it's about the same coming from the two. I had best up on, on the sound core. And I think I had, no, I did not have bass boost on me. I mean, sound boost on because sound boost is not really boosting bass. It is just boosting the overall sound of the speaker. If you have sound boost on on the PL7, it's about as loud as the Sound Core Motion Plus. But if you have sound boost off, the Sound Core Motion Plus is louder than the PL7. Um, but overall, I feel like these sound about the same. I like the wider sound stage of the Sound Core Motion Plus right here, but the JPL here actually sounded a little bit more powerful to me. Um, I like the best, but again, it's in a different price category. Yes, it's a good speaker. It sounds good for the price. And yes, it's one of the good speakers that you can get for under hundred dollars so that's it that's it about this video sounds good you guys were right it sounds good for its price but it doesn't really blow the PL7 out of the water for under 100 I still stand by my choice right here <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching this one again um, like I said, I'm not going to always go and buy speakers that you guys bully me into buying in the comment section. <laughs> but please give me, uh, always recommend me stuff. Um, it's a good speaker. I almost bought it when it first came out, but like I said, I'm not a fan of the design and I'm pretty sure that's what threw me off a little bit and I wasn't really interested in reviewing it. I'm not sure if I'll make more videos about it. Maybe I will in the future comparing it to other speakers if you guys are interested but for now i think we are set thank you for watching i will see you in the next video peace